Hello, welcome to Informatica Support. Uh, myself is Arvind Kate as a part of the MDM support team here at Informatica. And today we will discuss about the MET command utility. And the agenda for the today's session is uh, so what is MET command utility? Uh, MET command utility is file and folder structures. So what are the parameters required to run the MET command utility? And we will go through with the uh, sample demo to execute the MET command utility. And some of the troubleshooting steps we will uh, discuss here. So first, well, so what is MET command utility? So MET command utility is in command line wrapper. So it's uh, basically written in the Java program to execute and this one. It will basically perform the operations uh, like the MET command validations, like ORS validation, exporting the change list, importing the change list. So whatever the activities we will do at the hub console level, the same activities can be done uh, through this uh, command. Uh, this is mainly basically we will use it as in like uh, automation tool where uh, you want to automate the things uh, of the ORS related uh, things then you can use this tool. So as this uh, command is written in the Java program so you must have either Java or JDK uh, to be installed in your system to run the command in your uh, machine. So next thing is the MET command utility files and the folder structures. So you can find the samples in the resource kit uh, so that one informatica will ship when you are buying the uh, informatica mdm so we will ship uh, along with uh, the hub server cleanse so along with that we will uh, ship this resource kit also so in that you will find the main command called the met command dot command so this is the command where you will run the met command utility we will walk through with uh, once the in the demo session and the next is a separate connection dot properties file so this properties file will describe the parameter to talk to the MDM hub console so mainly it contains uh, like either uh, you can make a connection via EJP or HTTP or the parameters related to the app server so which app server you are using either JPOS, WebSphere or WebLogic and some of the credentials like username and password to talk to the MDM hub console so now we will discuss the what are the parameters are required to run the met command utility. So very first one is the get ORS metadata. So this command will export the metadata to the specified file. Suppose like if you have a one ORS then in your hub console you have an op option called the export option right. So in the same way you can export the your change list via this command line. So you need to pass this get ORS metadata and it will export it in the form of the change list.xml file. So next is create change list. The create change list what it will do is so it will compare the both the ORS one from the source and the target and what are the differences it find then it will create the one change list among the differences. So you need to pass the source ORS ID either you can pass the ORS ID or you can pass the exported the change list as the source XML file. Okay. So and you need to pass the target ORS ID along with that you need to pass the output file name so where the, the changes what are the changes between the source and the target right so those things will be saved in this output file name so once the create change list is done so next step is you need to apply the changes to the target ORS so what are the necessity changes have been done in the create change list so those changes you have to be applied to the target ORS right so for that reason you need to run you need to pass this argument called the apply change list and we have some optional parameters called the output file name so like if you really want to pass the change list information to the output file name then you can give this output file name uh, like if you want to pass the properties file name we have the cypm connection dot properties right so that one if you want to pass you can pass via this command line also okay next two parameters are the uh, one is the validate change list and one more is the validate metadata so validate change list will validate the applied changes so whatever the change list you have created and applied to the target ORS right so that one you need to if you want to validate the change list so then you can validate the change list and one more thing and uh, very last option is the validate metadata uh, this is uh, like usually you will do in the MDM hub console right the validate ORS in the same way you can do if you want to validate the ORS from the command line then you can give this option so these are the five to six uh, options uh, which are required to run the met command utility from the command line so just uh, one is that uh, 
create change list and apply change list and validate ORS and uh, validate change list so these four and one more thing is either you can pass the output file if you want to pass you can pass the output file or you can pass the uh, like cypn connection dot properties file also so now we will go through with the demo section so in this demo so we will walk you through um, where this met command utility is located and what are the jar files are required to run and how to execute the command and what are the parameter we need to pass and what are the argument are present in the Cyprian connection dot properties so those all things we will explain by step by step for you okay okay so first we'll go through with the what are the files and the folder structures of the so met command utility so first uh, so go to the info mdm installation directory and go to the hub and resource kit go to the sample and here you will find the met command utility okay so this cyprian connection dot properties which uh, have some of the parameters based upon the app server so you need to set it so for the demo purpose we are using the jboss so i have set it for the jboss uh, so let it this something like okay this one and all the communication which is uh, communicating to the hub console are going via the http protocol so i have enabled this http dot call dot url equal to this one localhost 8080 slash cmx just request suppose if you have like server then you can give either the ip address or the host name so as of now this demo is going on my local machine so i have provided the localhost So in the same way if you are using the web sphere then you need to enable these properties and if you are using the web logic we have some other properties uh, yeah so this is the for the web logic 7001 is the port number default port of the web logic and these three parameters are common for the all the app servers the ORS ID and the username and the password to communicate with the hub console okay next thing is so we will go through the what are the jars are required to execute this command so basically we need uh, some of the jars very important only Cyprian common Cyprian API Cyprian server PKUtil and Cyprian server hashutils so if some of the jars are missing i would recommend you people to take the jars from the hub server and the lib directory because sometimes what happened that shipping team has been missed some of the jars so in that case you can copy the jars from the hub server lib directory we have also provided some documentation related to this metcommon utility how to run and how to explore so you can explore this one like if you want to wish open this one metcommon utility so which is having all the options just having all the usage and yeah so basically these are the options which i have explained in the previous slides get my data create in this one like if you want to explore you can go through with this document it's a really nice document So as we discussed earlier so this met command uh, utility is like the repository manager so you can see in the hub console right uh, repository manager what are the activities it will do so like validate the change list validate the ors promoting the change list importing the change list exporting the changes so these all are the functionalities which can be done via that met command utility so we will go through with the demo of that part so that it will be clear for you people